What is this, Jasper? Careful. Someone might pinch you. Is it a new friend? Today, you will become lobster raviolis. Wait, wait, wait! That's that. The reason I'm like killing the lobster myself is because I think it's really important to know where your food comes from. And it's very easy to just go into a grocery store and see like a ton of beef or like pre-cooked lobster and like not actually realize that something had to die for you to eat it. And it's a very interesting experience um, killing something and then eating it. I guess it's like somewhat sentimental. It's like something died for your consumption. All right, so today I'm making lobster raviolis or maybe agnolatis. I guess we're gonna see how much pasta dough I have and like what shape I'm gonna do. But it's gonna be an individually stuffed pasta, probably like six, seven pieces per person. We're gonna see. Um, inside the raviolis, we're gonna have the lobster with some butter some chives. It's currently cooking in the pot right behind me uh, for about 10 minutes, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check it after eight. We're gonna check the color, see how it looks. With that, I'm gonna have some brown butter carrots, some candied oranges, and some sage. And I think that's it. I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple with those ingredients and see how the flavors work together. Uh, this is my first time cooking lobster since culinary school. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've never done this at home before, so. We're gonna see how it goes. Something cool about the pasta is actually it's squidding pasta, so it's gonna be black. That is this right here. And the squidding pasta, it's not really gonna give me anything special besides a little bit of umami and some color. So you don't really need it. So if you're gonna make the recipe at home, you can forego that part all by itself. But yeah, let's get on to some of the mise en place. get a nice bath ready. So now the lobster is cooked. It is a nice bright red color like this. I'm going to clean it. I'm pretty much just gonna sever off the head, grab the meat from the tail and the claws, and see what usable portion I can get. Tear it up um, with my hands and then put it into a mixer with some garlic, butter, and chives. We're gonna see how that tastes, probably add a little bit of lemon as well, and then that will be the filling for our ravioli. So at the end of all that, this is how much meat I have. It's really only just a handful. Whatever lobster you're eating, think that one animal only produces a handful of meat. And that's and that's something to take into account as well. Like you order like a lot of meat, you're gonna kill a lot of animals. It really adds up after a while. Do you want a piece? Do you want a piece? All right. Okay, so now I'm ready to mix my lobster mixture. I'm gonna add some chives, some butter, some shallots and some lemon juice, and I think that's pretty much it. So here is the lobster. I'm just gonna add in some 
chives, big thing of butter. Now let's add some seasonings, some salt, some black pepper, a touch of olive oil. Never forget the garlic. Okay, I think we have the perfect amount. Here is the first one. I'm liking the shape. I hope I got all the air out the center because I don't want it to break when I boil it. But yeah, look at that. And this is it, let's take a look here. Mmm. Oh yeah, spooky Halloween colors here. But a little pop of dark green with that sage. All right, here we go, first bite. I just exploded with lobster juice. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh, the orange. I'm gonna enjoy this on my own. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what you guys want next. Peace.